Hello, so we are back. It's a beautiful Thursday morning and I have a nice laptop to repair. I mean, for some reason I'm getting like only gaming laptops for repair. People make a habit. It's a gaming laptop? Okay, let's send it to Sorry. So this laptop is coming from a computer shop. What this laptop is doing, it's working beautiful. Check here. This is an Acer uh, Predator. So it's working fine, and you are sorry, okay, but what's the problem? The problem is, let's check the customer email. So the customer is saying, uh, Acer Predator uh, Triton 300, laptop not charging. Trying, uh, tried a new battery and still not charging. Laptop powers and boot fine with the power supply unit plugged in. So the issue with this one, not charging, the customer tried another battery, not charging. Okay, let me plug the power supply. We need a we need a Acer uh, plug. Yeah, the blue pin. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Perfect. Now remember, this is a gaming laptop and need a lot of current. Let's set up the current to like what, like five amps, right? Yeah, 4.7 is fine. Should be fine for what we need, yeah? To test the charging. Check that, check on the screen. 3.9 amps. 3.9, which is a lot. And probably it will go to zero. Because the current is too high. 3.8. And now something is getting hot because the current is going down and now it's going to zero. So this is a classic fault and I'm pretty sure here on the chat are people which they already have the answer of this fault. We still have the charging light by sticking no current. Okay, so what is the fault? The fault, it's exactly the first MOSFET which is shorted. That, that's the, I haven't checked yet, but I can bet that's, that's the problem. So let's open the laptop and check inside. Oh, the screws are missing. The screws are missing, so we can open straight away the laptop. Okay, so the laptop is open. And check here, this is a classic design, and I, and I believe we had this fold before. First, first MOSFET, second MOSFET, you can see there. Let's check together. Let me unplug the battery. Because this battery is not meant to take like 4 amps, like what we see in here. Wow, what happened there? Okay, take my words back. Uh, so we have a blow-up capacitor, but that's not our concern. Yeah, That capacitor is just fine. Yeah, It's no issue with the capacitor. Um, the issue is the first MOSFET, like how I said. But let's check together. First MOSFET, check on the screen. Zero ohms, you can see. And uh, the second MOSFET, the second MOSFET probably is good. Yeah, it is good. You can see it's not shorted, but the first one, it is shorted, zero ohms. Don't worry about that capacitor. That capacitor is just fine. Both capacitors are just fine. The trucks are fine. That's not our problem. The problem is the MOSFET. So what is the solution? The solution is replacing the MOSFET, which is a very easy and pleasant job. If I can find the Capton tape, okay, I found it, I found it. You don't have to take the board out. You have a lot of space behind of the board. Perfect, so we isolate the area. Just a little, uh, a little bit of uh, rushing flux, just a little bit. And hot air, 480 degrees. Uh, 40% air pressure. And now all we have to do is to remove this MOSFET and replace it. Yeah, all good. So what do we have here? It's a channel N MOSFET. That's what we have. If it's a channel N MOSFET, uh, we should have on the gate around 25 volts. Perfect. Let me find a MOSFET. 
I found it. I found it. Yeah. So yeah. Let's pick up uh, a MOSFET from this power supply. What we have here is 0306AS. Uh, and you will ask, sorry, but this, this, is, this is a different kind of animal. You know, this is from a switching power supply, and you replace it on an input MOSFET, which is dealing with DC current, right? Let's check the data sheet of this, uh, of this uh, MOSFET. So what do we have here? We have a, we have a MOSFET. And uh, what do I care? It's about the voltage and it's about the current. So the ratings of this MOSFET is 30 volts, you can see here. So what do we have there? 19, which is fine. Then the current. So this MOSFET is capable to carry with adequate cooling 128 amps. But uh, package limited, yeah, based on the, the capsule of the MOSFET, 49 amps. Continuous current, 26 amps. Based on the fact the charger, it's, uh, I believe on this one, it's under 10 amps, I think we are fine. So that's how you replace MOSFET. You just, you know, check the data sheet. Usually, I will be honest with you, I don't check for data sheet because I know most of the MOSFET, they are able to carry, like, uh, the current from the charger. I mean, up to 15 amps, probably any MOSFET can do it. Good. Now let's remove this MOSFET quickly. Yeah, let's let's move the MOSFET quickly. Okay, so we took the MOSFET out, good, and we have to move it here. Perfect, that's the MOSFET, let's solder the MOSFET back. Yeah, perfect. We have a solder ball here. We don't want this solder ball to go inside of the laptop. Perfect. So what about now? Now, <laughs> I was just joking. Let's check what's going on there with the capacitors. I mean, now the laptop, it will work fine. I'm pretty sure about that. But just uh, to understand what happened there with that capacitor. Because of the high current, probably the capacitor exploded. You can see. And this capacitor is connected on the output of the second MOSFET. Yeah, perfect. If you ask me, probably this is the reason why the first MOSFET got shorted. Because otherwise, you'll be able to handle the current. So most likely that capacitor uh, got shorted. And uh, that put a lot of pressure on the first MOSFET. And yeah, that's how the laptop died. Good, let's test it now. Let's see. I will plug the battery. Battery is plugged in. Let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger. No current. Just wait. Yeah, we're going to have the pre charge current and then uh, the normal current. 3 amps. Check that. This is a proper charging current which is controlled. Now, we are, if we are checking the MOSFET, you know what? To check the, the total uh, the circuit, the complete circuit, yeah? You check the input voltage. 
it's 18.4. And you check the output voltage after the, those two MOSFETs, and it's 18.4. That means you lose nothing. So whatever is wrong with those MOSFETs, you will see a drop of, of voltage. But if everything is, is okay, you will not see any voltage drop on those MOSFETs. Now the gate of the MOSFET is, check on the screen, it's over 20 volts. Let's see. Check on the screen, 24.3. So with 24.3 on the gate, this MOSFET is working great. Uh, now you ask, okay, so from where is 24? Actually here is not 24, it's just an illusion. So the voltage is the gate from the source to the source, you have, check on the screen, 6 volts. That's what you have. Okay, I'm happy I helped this customer. Yeah, now the laptop, it is charging. Now, one more thing. is This is a common mistake. And you think, okay, that MOSFET was shorted. I mean, what's wrong with a shorted MOSFET? What is wrong with a shorted MOSFET? Actually, the shorted MOSFET internal resistance, it's worse compared with actually a working MOSFET. Now, the second problem is, okay, sorry, but why? Um, so this circuit has same uh, volt, input voltage with the with output voltage. So what was the catch? Why the battery was taking like nearly like four amps or over four amps? And uh, I can't really answer on this question because those most of it had nothing to do with the charging. So it's something related with the BQ chip probably. And uh, I never dig in to find out actually why he's taking mad current if the first MOSFET is shorted, because it's making no sense. Yeah, like on this case, we have same input uh, voltage uh, on the input and the output. But uh, that's not important because we know if the charging current is mad high, we know the first MOSFET is shorted. This is a common fault, especially on the Acer Nitro and this uh, uh, Predator. So I'm going to stop now. I will say thank you for watching. Don't forget, you know, like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.